Paulie took the vial, and that's the only thing that could possibly save me from any of this. So, whether it's the cops or corrupt people in the universe, the corrupt elites, I don't know who's going to be after me. Either or, right now, both of them are my enemy because cops are most likely looking for me for the attempted murder of Calvin McGinley. There's nothing that justifies that right now. The vial could justify that, possibly, but I don't have the vial on me right now. So, anybody that I see is enemy. It's not the first time I've been left behind, stranded to fend for myself. This is a constant repeat in my life, but this time, it's a little different. This could very well be my last moments as a human being. I cannot walk during the day because I would be spotted very quickly and be taken out. My only shot at surviving is waiting for the sun to go down and making a run for it. I've been 13 hours with no food or water. 13 hours with no food or water. But that's the least of my worries. My main concern is leaving my legacy. The hundreds of thousands of people who look up to me for what reason? They look to me as if I'm a god. But really, only a kid who decided to follow my dreams, just like any of them could do. If I die, my only worry is that I didn't leave enough of an impact to make the world a better place. As a leader of over 500,000 fans across the world, I promise to walk ahead of you into the war. I will endure all of the pain of my followers and show them the way. I will be honored to die before you as a leader and I refuse to sit back and watch. I stand for what I believe in and I'll die by my word. That's my way of life. The babies being sacrificed by the elites never had a chance at this life. And we will never understand that. To truly understand someone, you must first understand their pain. You hurt in order to know, fall in order to grow, and lose in order to gain. That's when the greatest life lessons will come. So I cannot die yet, and I will not die yet. I have a journey that I set out, and I refuse to fall short for my people. To break the rules is considered scum, but leaving your people behind is considered worse than scum. The only way of me surviving right now, I can't just go out and walk on the street. I was walking on the street before and trying to hitchhike, but not gonna work because it's way too vulnerable for them to just pop out and see me and kill me, so I can't do that. So I decided that my only chance at survival is me coming back deep into the woods and waiting until the sun goes back down. It's about midday right now, so we definitely got another at least six hours. I'm not sure what time it is, my phone is completely dead. And also my camera is on the verge of dying, there's not much battery left in it. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and save it for when nighttime hits. If anything crazy does happen, I still have my camera on me, but I'm not gonna be doing much besides sitting here until sun goes down. Oh, no, no, hey, 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 stay right there, hey. Her name's Calvin McGinley, the seventh. Mm. That's good for y'all. Please! <laughs> Yo, oh, 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 o
Dude, that's the fucking cops. That's the fucking cops. That's the fucking cops. Which way the fucking car? Which way my fucking car? The fucking brick factory. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god.
Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? to see me leave. I think we're good. Uh. Yo, pull over on the next next rest stop. I can't stay back here. I don't see anybody chasing us. I think we're good. They pull over on the next Wawa or something. Oh my god. I'm about to pass out. What the fuck is going on? How'd you guys know I was here? Paul told him. Paul told me, and then I didn't know where to go, so I got him. So. <sighs> Paul went to Calvin's? Paul went to Calvin's by himself, bro. There's no stopping him, bro. Why the fuck would he go by himself? Because he's worried about his, his brother and sister. Why would he think his brother and sister are there? I have no idea. I guess because of the pictures or something he said. I don't know. He stole the vial, and he ditched me. Dude, I literally was so close to dying back there. Those cops were trying to kill me. I know, we saw them. We fucking passed them, bro. Why would you let... Bro, we fucking passed them, bro. They just stared at us, bro. They didn't know what we were doing. We turned the lights off. Bro, I think that's him right there running, bro. That's when we, well, that's when we saw it. I was like, yo, get in, hop in. And then you, kept, you fucking passed us, bro. We we're going towards back into the fucking... How was I going to expect you guys to fucking show up? I know, I know. <sighs> I'm just up to fucking found you, though. Polly, why would he go by himself? We have to go. We can't let him go there by himself, he's gonna die. He's gonna die tonight if we don't get there. <sighs> A calm before the storm, Calvin and his seven brothers against four guys fighting for the greater good. Completely unprepared, but still running in head first with no weapons or defense. The only thing guarding us tonight will be the power of God, no man left behind. <laughs> 